Okay, this wasn't going to be the uh, intended first video, but I've just come through to do some soldering on my trusty bench and my uh, fan and light that I use all the time is not responding. So I thought I'd do a video on stripping it down and making it smart. Okay, on opening it up, what I've discovered is that this live and neutral that comes in, the live goes straight up and goes straight out to the um, to the light and fan. These here are switch grounds through these transistors, and that's for the fan. That is cool white. That is and that is warm white. And what happens is via this logic, which I'm guessing is something like an uh, AT Tiny, basically switches that transistor to ground and the light or um, fan comes on regard, um, depending on which button was pressed on the other side. So it's kind of akin to a uh, RGB controller. So I think this would be dead easy in a candidate for something like ESP Home. Okay, as you can see in the um, in the just in shot there, the light is now on, and we have a working prototype. And what we've basically got is a ESP8266 in a D1 mini package, and I've got a couple of MPN transistors, and I've used some current limiting resistors, but just because I didn't want the magic blue smoke to appear if too much current was drawn from the input um, pins on the uh, on the D on the D one mini. As you can see, it's on now and it's running ESP Home. So if we say, I'll say, Alexa, turn off desk light. Okay. She turns it off. Alexa, turn on desk light. Okay. Alexa, set desk light 100%. Okay. Alexa, set desk light warm white. Okay. That didn't really show up very well in the camera, but it has changed colour. So basically, we now have we've now created a um, a smart light from a uh, a dumb light with. Just with switches, obviously I just need to put it on a piece of ferro, uh, do a very similar thing for the fan, and we're sorted. If you want to know more, um, put, some comment, put something in the comments. Thank you. Bye.